One of the best parts of building out a fight stick is executing a great theme. At their core, fight sticks all serve the same function, but the style and overall vibe is an extension of the player and their interests. In this video, we'll skip all talk of parts and components and just look at how to develop an overall theme for your fight stick. There's really no right or wrong way to do this, but I'll walk you through my own thought process. Number one, get inspired. You can do this by looking at what's around you and by looking at finished sticks. I get to help moderate an awesome subreddit, so I'm able to see awesome sticks posted on a daily basis. See what else has been done and how you can innovate on themes that speak the most to you. Number two, think about the enclosure, the button layout, and what will be left of the remaining art real estate. Most sticks can accommodate art of some kind, but sometimes you have to get creative. Think of the absolutely essential elements and the different ways they could be expressed. You can depict a single character or idea in a variety of ways. Number three, look at the essential colors. Avoid using dozens of colors and lean into a more balanced visual with just two or three main colors. Even if you want something monochromatic, you can pick three different shades or hues to add some nuance and variation to your scheme. Number four, an extra punch. This is the step where you can elevate a good fight stick to a great fight stick. Maybe change out some button rims, maybe integrate a custom ball top into the overall design, maybe tie the shape of the enclosure to the concept, maybe some foam or an unusual part. Think outside the box to see if there's any area of design which lends itself well to an upgrade. A friend asked me to make a fight stick for her husband. It was for an anniversary present, so I wanted to lean into her ideas since I thought it would make it more special. I let her try out a variety of fight sticks and told her to pick her favorite. She settled on this Crypt Keeper theme in a junk food arcade snack box enclosure as her favorite. She said she liked the art and the overall size and aesthetic of the case. The V1 case has been discontinued, but Junk Food Arcade has a V2 enclosure on the market, so that helped anchor the rest of the design. She also told me that her husband was a big Darkstalkers fan an old Anacharis main from the Waybacks, and she wanted to theme it around that character. When pressed further, she thought a full-on Egyptian motif, complete with a playful Felicia batting at his wrappings like a kitten would bat at a ball of yarn, would work well. I thought the theme sounded both cute and meaningful, since these core ideas were fairly original and all our own. I had all that I needed and felt confident we could put together a nice stick that ticked those boxes. You can typically go with a couple of colors for your design, and I think up to three main ones would work well for this build. If we use Anacharis in his standard costume as our base, he's actually got three main colors, blue, yellow, and white. At the time I ordered, Junk Food Arcade only had white, black, and red for color choices on the Snackbox V2 top and bottom panels, so I thought we could use white for the middle sections and bring it back again in the buttons. Side panels for the V2 come in a variety of colors, including both blue and yellow. In the end, I ordered both because sometimes the hues are too different from the main palette. Having both sets also gave me the option to mix and match, which is what I landed on. A white enclosure means we need less of the white in the art itself to keep a good balance of the three. I typically try to work with new artists on new projects, but I've had good success with Creeps and Babes in the past. He was the one who took my Crypt Keeper sketches and amped them up to 10. My friend also really liked his style. So, I tapped him again for this project, and I sketched up some concepts, and he took my designs further. As far as the buttons went, my friend said her husband was a big fan of Sanwa, which was good, because they have quite a few color options compared to some other brands. I also grabbed some concave inserts for the aux buttons, so he'll easily be able to orient his fingers to the correct functions on the side. For the normal buttons, I changed out the rims to bring back the blue and yellow Anacharis head design and then used some pure white to match our middle enclosure color. We had a few different hues, but we kept to our three color Anacharis palette pretty well. The joystick ball top is kind of the cherry on top, so there were a couple of different possibilities. We could lean into the Anacharis eye, which sometimes appears in his palm, but in the end I decided to go back to the Egyptian theming and requested a pyramid ball top from Mordor Gaming. It was 3D printed, painted, and then encased in resin.
So there we have it. A completed Anacara spike stick for my friend to give her husband. That's awesome. And here she gets to try it out for the first time and show off all of those sweet Darkstalker skills. Hopefully her husband will love her thoughtful gift. I also hope that this vid helped inspire you to try a new fun theme on your next fight stick. If you enjoyed the content, I would appreciate a sub so I can continue to grow this channel. Anyway, thanks for watching, support your locals, and I'll see you next time.